Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, Logan, coming to you from Nerdy Vinyl. Um, as you can see, I got a little bit of a different backdrop tonight. Uh, I'm not at home. I am actually at work, pulling some overtime this weekend. Uh, I work, I work for the uh, local county government, whatever. Uh, here where I live. I do I work for uh, facilities management or building maintenance and one of our detention centers got struck by lightning this week so their fire suppression systems down so getting that overtime basically every half hour I get to carry this 10 pounds of keys around and I get to go open every single door in the facility and then basically smell for smoke uh, so, I'm bored as hell, so I figured, yeah, I could knock this video out, I don't, I don't have to like, um, I don't have to show any vinyl or anything, so I figured, what the hell, so if I filmed this in a couple of, uh, in a couple of sections, that's why, because I may not have enough time to do it all, um, in between walks, so, uh, let's just get into this, first question, do you ever get disheartened when a video you think should be popular is ignored? And if yes, give an example. Um, I, I mean, this is my second channel. I, I used to have another channel. Um, well, it, I still have it. I just haven't posted anything on it in a long time. It's called, it's called the uh, Patriot Piper and it's a pipe and cigar channel um and when i started that one i used to get really bummed out um if it didn't do very well um and then i kind of got to the realization that like i was never a big channel anyways and i don't have aspirations to be a big channel so i man i tend to manage expectations and understand that most of my, my videos aren't going to be huge. So if my videos are in the double digits, I'm happy, honestly. Um, yeah. Uh, how often do you check your subscriber count? Question number two. I don't like check it, check it, like go in and like, did I, did I, did I get more subs? Um, like, Rod the Happy Hippie said uh, in his video, I kind of agree. It's like, I see it every day. Like, if I go to upload something or I go to look at a comment, that you know, I get that notification. Um, I'll see it, but I don't like actively like check it on a regular basis. Um, I'd, it'd probably stress me out even more if I did. Uh, question three, how often do you ask people to hit the subscriber button? Never. Um, and I don't mean that like I never ask people to subscribe. I, I just don't, honestly, I don't think about it. Um, you know, most people when that you see their videos, sorry, I'm sweating like my butt off in here. I'm in a, essentially in a boiler room. Um. But no, uh, like a lot of, there's a lot of people that like, when they close their videos, they say, oh, like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, you know, they have animations and things for it and everything. It's just not part of my shtick. It's not part of like, what I say. I'm not in the habit of saying it. Um, so yeah, so I just don't. Um... Question four, how do you feel when you lose subscribers and what's the largest amount you've lost in one day? Um, for this channel, um, I think I'm at the highest sub count I've ever had, which is like I think 64 or 65 at the time of making this. Um, I did know that like a couple weeks ago I had 62 and then a few days later I, ch I was on and it was down to 58, like I had lost, um, no, it was it. I don't know, what, I can't remember what it was, but I lost like two. I noticed I was two down. 
was either from 62 to 60 or 60 to 58 I don't I don't really remember but yeah I mean I just again I don't pay enough of, enough attention to it to like for it to bother me um I mean honestly the only thing that bugs me and it doesn't really bug me um but it's like when you see a channel it's like a newer channel um a channel that's like newer than mine but they're like hitting milestones like 100 subs or whatever and it's like dude I can't even get out of the 60s and I've been doing this for however many months longer but then it's like but dude I don't post all that often you know and hell I'm probably boring as hell to listen to so yeah it's just one of those things it's like that's that's more discouraging than losing subs I think but whatever um oh gotta go okay I'm back um where was I uh, okay, question five. How do you feel when people comment on your video and they obviously haven't watched it? For example, a comment comes in for a 15 minute video, one minute after it's uploaded. Um, so on my older channel, on my old channel, I had this happen more than a few times. Um, so on my old on my other channel where I used to do a lot of um well it was a like I said it was a pipe and cigar channel and uh so I'll, I did a lot of reviews on different types of um different types of pipe tobacco and different types of uh cigars and things like that and you know I I tend to ramble and so my videos tend to be a little bit longer. Um, and that would happen. I'd get a video comment and it's like, oh, this just went live and this is a 20 minute video review. And then it would be like somebody just like saying, oh, I love that blend or I don't like that blend or those cigars or whatever, or, that pipe is this or what, you know? And so it was like, they obviously didn't watch my video, They but they, they were commenting on the su their on the subject matter more than the video. Um, again, does it bother me? Not really. Um, but I mean, like others have said, like some people comment while they're watching a video. You know, um, I've done it. Uh, but I mean, people commenting just to be the first person to comment, that's a little weird, but hey, whatever. I, like I said, I, I really don't care. Not enough for, to let it bug me or anything like that. Um, question six, if you have, if you or already have hit a thousand sub counts, I'm gonna get this out of here. Um, will you monetize your channel? If you are eligible for the thanks option, will you promote it? Um, so I thought about this. So in the event that I reach a thousand subs, you know, in the next 15 years, um, if I were to ever get to that goal, I probably wouldn't monetize my stuff, uh, just because um, on several of my videos, I start out with a little bit of a, whatever I'm listening to playing in the background. And so, um, like a large majority of my videos have copyright claims on them. So I would have to go back and either re-edit all those video, all of my videos to exclude that, or I would have to delete all those videos. So it would be like, oh, I hit a thousand subs. Now I'm gonna monetize my stuff. Oh, but I have no content because I had to go through and delete everything. So my entire backlog is gone. So, you know, 
Now, so does it, I mean, I could start now, just stop doing that, but I don't really want to. So, I'm not in this to make money. Uh, anyways, you know, I started, okay, so the reason I started YouTube in, in general, you know, when I started the pipe stuff, that was, you know, to meet like-minded people. Same with the vinyl music channel. I did it to meet like-minded people. Um, you know, and in that other community, there's a lot of people, like, there's a lot of trades and, um, what, 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 sorry, what, what we call, uh, VCLT, um, there's a lot of that, um, there's a, there's a lot of that, uh, in the vinyl, or in the pipe community. Um, I don't know if they, if it's the same thing here, I've never seen anybody call it this, we call it VCLT, um, in the, um, YTPC, the YouTube pipe community, uh, they call them Yabos, yet another box opening, and that's usually when you get something from somebody or you've traded with somebody. Uh, so I like that aspect of it. That's kind of what I got into it for. Like meet people that are into vinyl, you know, maybe build, you know, make friends, trade with people, you know, stuff like that. Like be a part of that. It's all for me. It's about being getting in with a community because that's what it's all about. That's what that's what that's what drew me to it. Um, so it's not about it's not about making money or. Um, you know, making having another source of income through YouTube. Uh, so, and as far as the likes, the, the thanks option, um, I'm not really sure about all that. I've kind of seen some stuff on it, but no, probably not. Uh, let's see. Do you ever sub another channel just to try and get a sub back? And when you do sub other channels, approximately what percentage? Do you hit the notification bell? Um, I don't sub looking for subs. Uh, I sub if I like people's stuff, um, and or if they're another VC creator that I find or that somebody else recommends, um, I'll go check them out and I'll and I'll give them a sub. Just you know, but I don't ever ask for subs back. Um, I generally don't go, hey, I just sub to you, kind of a thing. Um, and not that, not that people do that. Um, like, hey, I just subbed, you should, you know, you should sub me back. Uh, I don't see people doing that at all, but I don't, I don't, um, I don't know. I don't want to sound like, because now I'm, I don't want to sound like a dick. Because people do tell me when they sub, and that's great, but I don't. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense. Like, I don't just tell people, hey, you know, I just, you know, you should sub me back. You should check out my channel. I don't, I just don't, I don't fish for subs like that. Um, and honestly, I'm really bad about the notification bell. I should hit more and I just, I just forget. I, I, I honestly, I forget to hit the notification bell. Um. And mainly it's because like the people that I sub, like when I go log on, that's all I see anyways are those videos. So here we go. Um, oh crap. All right. Going to cut again. I'll be back. Okay. I'm back again. Okay. Down to the last three questions. Here we go. Uh, question eight. How long do you think is an acceptable time to wait before replying to a comment? If you reply to, oh, if you reply to comments. So uh, it's funny, this is kind of like that old thing. It's like, how long do you wait before you call on a chick? No, nobody calls people anymore. It's all text anyways, but. So a lot of younger kids don't get that reference. Um, I don't, I guess I don't really get the question, like, does it mean like, oh, you don't want, people like, don't want to like reply like immediately after getting, I don't know. Um, I generally try to respond um, like as soon as I see it. Um, 
and I'm bad at replying. Sometimes I just don't know. Sometimes it's like I'm, I'm socially awkward enough that like I don't know what to say. Yeah, you know, response other than like, thanks, you know, and that's all me. Um, but I don't know. Like I said, I generally try to. I at least like and heart every comment or try to. Um, and like I said, if I if I if I reply, I usually I'm I usually do it as soon as I see the comment. Uh, four. Do I like? Do you like record store day? And if so, after buying record store day items, do you feel the need to show them? Immediately, like in the car after the shop store, or can you wait to get home and open them before showing? Um, so if you go back and look, I did a record store day videos this year. This is my first time ever experiencing record store day was this year, and I thought it was I thought it was a good time. Uh, the shop that I went to, they, they kind of go all out. Um, I wish I'd had a bigger budget. Uh, and do I think that I will do records for days in the future? Probably. Um, just depends on, you know, what I want, if what they, what's out that year, you know. Um, I'm not going to go buy a bunch of stuff just because it's a record store day. Um, it has to really be stuff that I want. Um, like this year, the stuff I got this year was stuff that I wanted. And there was some stuff that I didn't get that I wish I, I had. Um, and then I I actually, w I was going to go home and do the video the res that day. Um and show everybody what I got, make that video that day. And I actually ended up, didn't I didn't film it for, I think it was almost a week later, when I, because I just had so much going on that day. Um, but in a perfect, which I, in a perfect world, I would like to show the stuff I bought, like, right when I got home. But, oh, kind of giving it some time, and actually listening to the stuff before I did the, the video, that kind of was cool too. So I don't know. Um, I, yeah. I don't know. That, I don't know if that answered that question. Whatever. 10. Do you enjoy participating in and watching collaboration videos? What? But do you get. Hold on. But do you get put off watching if they go beyond the one or two hour mark? Um, honestly, I've never watched any. Um, I see them from time to time. I'll see that they're going on. Um, but I honestly, I haven't watched any. Um, no reason. I just, I don't know. I, I do think that the time plays a part in it. Um, I like to watch videos that are relatively short. Um, and when I, mean, when I say relatively short, I mean under 30 minutes, um, which is long. I mean, that's, that's as long as I'll go. The shorter, the better. I mean, like I said, I make long videos. This is probably gonna be in the, at least in the twenties, at least. Um, so if it's a video like this, where it's like, I can, under it's, I think it's justifiably long. That's one thing, but. Generally, it's like, I, try to, I want to watch a bunch of videos. I don't want to watch that. It's just because of the time. And I don't want to, like, scan through the whole thing and, you know, not pay attention. So, yeah. So, I just, I generally just, I just don't watch those. I'm not my gig. Uh, bonus question. Do you ever check my previous video just to make sure I'm not wearing the same shirt? No, um, I mean, shirts, no, um, just because I have a lot of shirts, but, um, this hat is in almost all my videos, I've noticed, I pretty much wear this hat in almost every video, um, 
I don't care. It's my favorite hat. But that's it. This video has been long enough. Um, see you next time. Later. Thanks for watching.